Sustain is where you take the seeds that you kind of sown and nurtured during the connect and communicate phases and really cultivate them into something that, that delivers a proper ROI for the business. So it's easy to view this as a baton pass almost between marketing and sales where the lead is handed over. But actually in our experience, this sustain phase should be a joint approach because it's all too easy actually to, to host an event and have put all of that effort into the event only to see people kind of, they, they attend and then they disappear off into the ether. So a key thing for Sustain is actually about giving those people after the event somewhere to come back to and having an offering that maintains an engagement and maintains a heartbeat. Maintaining that sort of dialogue, um, creating more material and more reasons to bring them back into one place. What we see happening is people will run the event and then post event they'll take a, a recording of what they did and they'll stick it up on a website for people to either go and view again or for people who weren't able to attend to to obviously log into but actually if that's all you're doing you're, you're kind of missing a, a chance to really get under the skin of things so what you can do here is you can interweave not just the material that was used in the webinar but wider information and wider collateral from the organization. So it, it gives your audience new ways of looking at things and, and more digestible information post event. But where this becomes really powerful is about how you deploy technology in this. You can track engagement as it comes back in. So you begin to look at actually what material are people consuming, um, which tells you two things, because firstly, you get to identify individuals against pieces of content. So from a sales perspective, what we're saying here is this is a great way of, of tracking and giving sales the right leads. So for example, if you've got somebody who comes back to the site and they, they watch, say, three or four different videos and they spend 30, 40 minutes on the site, then you know that you've got somebody that you need to be directing sales to, to follow up with as quickly as possible versus somebody who doesn't spend a lot of time there. The other thing it allows you to do is to create a bit of a feedback loop because by monitoring which bits of, of this uh, post event information are being consumed and how often, you can form a really clear idea of what collateral is working. The learning from this will drive your next event. So sustain is this lovely combination of what have we learned from the event and how do we keep improving? But also sustain is about actually making sure that we're handing really nicely qualified leads over to sales and giving them a structure and a mechanism moving forward. It brings marketing and sales closer together and allows you to work on strategies, not just for the, for the hot leads, but also those kind of warmer ones that, that need more time and more nurturing in more of a sort of an ABM phase, if you like. So ultimately, why would you do that? It's all about making sure you get value for money. And what we know with events is actually moving them online away from face to face. There's some massive cost savings available for organizations, but to get the ROI, you have to make sure that sales see this through and close the deal to the end.